hello guys today in this video i am going to discuss how we can create model from database using entity framework core in asp.net core version 5 or 3.1 so for that what we will do we need to run this command this is a package manager con um, like command which we can run in package manager console so here you can see this is starting with the scaffold dp context that means we are going to create a model using this command from the uh, database so you can see here i have passed the connection string in uh, as you can see in the server it is the server name or the location of server which is my local and here i have passed web api in initial catalog that means this is a database name and here i have passed multiple active result set equals to true and user id and the password and trusted connection and here we have passed the uh, connection provider microsoft entity, entity framework core dot sql server and at the last you can see output directory models that means it will create a directory at the root with the name of models and inside that model it will create the complete db context database context as well as the models of the tables which is available in the database so now I am going to run this command in the Visual Studio. So here you can see, let me first clear this. So here you can see, here I am going to run this command. And before running this command, make sure that you have installed all these packages here. You can see in the package, just I, am, I have just clicked here. Okay, so these four packages need to be install like microsoft and entity framework core microsoft entity framework core design core sql server and core tools okay and make sure it is the latest version installed whether you are using dotnet core version 5 or whether you are using dotnet core version 3.1 or 3.0 so let's go ahead and i have written the same command here so let me run this command so let me make it in a single line Okay, so I am now going to copy that command from notepad and I have pasted it here. So you can see here, this is the complete command and here I am going to hit enter button. So now you can see build has started and it succeeded and now it will create a model as well as the database context here at the root. You can see here. So let me just minimize it so that we can see. So it is basically taking some time and to create the complete model from the database. So it is just a matter of patience for some time. So make sure to wait and don't cancel any process. Okay. So it actually it also depends on the size of the database, how many columns or tables are having or present inside your database and on the basis of that it will do all the processes okay so here you can see the new folder is created with the name of model so you can see here it's complete created the model and here it is it has also created the database context okay so you can see here where api context is here and this is basically the database context which is created and it has it is having all the column names and the connection string also available here okay so like this you can create model from the database so that's all in this video thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel